Hey everyone, my name is Mark. I'm a coach here at Twin Flame Reconnection. Uh, today I would like to share my own personal experience in my own journey regarding boundaries and self-expression. So I recently had an experience. Uh, I was watching a, a, a series, a show on, on YouTube, and in this uh, show specifically, there was a scene, well, it's kind of like part of the plot line. There was this mother is looking after her uh, son that had recently gone blind. So he's an adult, um, but she's still kind of like taking care of him in this sense. So in this part of the show, she was being like extremely controlling of him. Like he wanted to do something. He wanted to, you know, live his own life. Basically, he's an adult, but she's basically saying, no, you, you know, you're under my care. You have to do this. You have to do that. And kind of stepping over the boundaries, stepping like you know, on his toes, so to speak, like not allowing him to, you know, do what he wanted to do. And through this, uh, through watching this, I had like this intense, almost like emotional reaction to just almost like call her out. Like I wanted to be like, you can't treat your son like that. You know, you're a whatever. And just like almost like anger. And normally I don't really comment on things or comment on videos or things like that, but I almost felt compelled to in this sense to create a comment about how I actually felt regarding the character of the mom in this scene in this video. And so I did, of course, in a um, respectful way, not in the anger way that I was trying to stay there, but it was kind of like in a way I was kind of like setting that boundary that I felt like needed to be placed in a way. So I had fin I had, then I continued on and I, I finished watching the other portions of this episode. And I kind of realized at the end that regarding that scene, I felt kind of indifferent or it just felt different to me. And I kind of realized at that point that I don't really think that that was me uh, that was really feeling those emotions when I saw that scene. I feel like it was coming from the other side, you know, the other part of me. I feel like in his side, I know he deals a lot with... Um, issues, cultural issues regarding boundaries and maybe self-expression in a sense. You know, you're told you're supposed to be a certain way, live a certain way, do a certain thing. So I think that was maybe kind of coming through, reflecting on me from his side. And of course, me maybe laying that boundary energetically would reflect back to him. I also had another experience uh, not too long after this, whereas it felt like I needed to express myself more in order to help him. And also to help myself as well, because I've also had issues with self-expression as well as someone who is gay. Sometimes that can be very difficult, even in today's world, to be able to actually, you know, be able to fully express yourself for who you are. And I think in me doing so, in me being more able to maybe do that kind of thing, gets reflected back onto his side so that he is able to uh, express himself more and set certain boundaries more in regards to his self-expression as well. So I just kind of really thought that was interesting on how the kind of back and forth that occurs there, how maybe you can feel certain things and how you can do things as well that will end up reflecting back. You know, you are able to assist in your own way, uh, in your own life doing certain things, and then that gets reflected back. It's kind of like the lesson is learned in both ways because, you know, we're connected in that sense. And of course, like, that's my own experience through obviously being gay and gay twin flames. Um, but obviously you can relate this in other ways too. Like there could be boundaries in your life, maybe regarding family members in a different way or bosses or friends or other people in your life. And that could be reflected back through that relationship as well. Um, there could be, you know, other things in terms of self-expression too. Like I think we all have areas of our life where we're afraid to fully express ourselves for fear of being judged, fear of, you know, what other people are going to think and all of that stuff. And sometimes we just need to, you know, cast those fears aside and just let ourselves express and be, right? And then that can, you know, filter on, like I said, if there's issues with that, it can filter on to the other side, express and be an example uh, to others as well and how we can, you know, truly express ourselves and truly able to be. So I just thought that I would share that. Um, if you would like to get a coaching session with me at all, the links are in the description below. If you did like this video, well, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications if you want more here. Uh, I think that's all I've got for this one. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye for now.